Look at this dude. G'day everyone, how are we all doing? So I'm not just gonna be doing a general trailer reaction. I'm way too late to the party for that. <laughs> also, as you can tell, I'm not all dressed up cowboy style like some other Australian simmers. <laughs> like damn, James and Deligracy, you guys set the bar way too high. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna go through the trailer and see uh, some key points. Stuff that I'm excited for, stuff that you might be excited for. But anyway, let's just cut to the chase and get to it, shall we? Hang on, one thing I love is the not all images appear in game. <laughs> I mean, I know they've got to say that to cover their ass, but like still, normally that wouldn't matter, but with an EA title, it kind of does. All right, immediately we're getting a look at the clothes. I think that's a new tattoo. I'm not sure, there's one that looks similar to that, but I don't think it's that one, that looks new. Obviously these clothes are new, the bandana. These hairs uh, both look new. I don't know why every second new hairstyle now is a fucking mullet. Like I get they're in trend, or at least they are in Australia, but that trend kind of died off here a bit. Now it's mostly just uh, football players and uh, Eshe that have a mullet. <laughs> if you don't know what an eshe is, it's the Australian word for a, like a 14 year old who thinks they're hard. That sounded so sus, hang on, hang on, fuck. 14 year old that thinks they're tough is what I meant to say. <laughs> Right here, we're getting a bit of a look at the town. I got no real problem with this. This looks pretty good, actually. Oh, look, you could even make your horse pink and shit. Well, I mean, that, I kind of expected that, but I mean, that's still cool. These foods look new, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've seen them before. <laughs> that's a new fireplace, right? I'm pretty sure that's new. And of course, the cow print, like, uh, seats. Feels very Sims 1 and 2. <laughs> oh my god, I hope we can get killed by being fucked off a horse. <laughs> I really hope there's a new death type with this pack. That's like my favorite part of The Sims, is just killing Sims. It, it's not weird, I swear. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is the uh, grape making, grape making, wine making thing. <laughs> Apparently you're going to be able to stomp like all sorts of stuff in here, including trash. What the fuck? And I'm pretty sure these are new cabinets and stuff back here. I actually really like the look of those. Those look really nice. <laughs> There's that skull on the wall again. <laughs> oh, that horse just snapped it. Yeah, I, I really hope we can be killed by the horses. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just really want a new death. <laughs> Holy shit, literally. I'm pretty sure it said something somewhere about being able to collect the horse manure and sell it. I mean, that makes sense. Back where I used to live, it was on the, like, the outskirts of the suburban area. If you go down like a rural road, you'd see all these signs saying horse poo for sale. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that's got to do with this pack, but anyway. Okay, this is interesting. We got some new couches and like armchairs. Again with the cow print. <laughs> yes, love it. Am I tripping balls or is that baby wearing a unicorn costume? But if that's the closest thing we get to unicorn, Unicorns in this pack, that's so fucking dumb. Although I would not be surprised at all if unicorns are sold separately as a game pack. <laughs> that's just such an EA thing to do, let's be honest. That looks like wine storage. So I'm hoping they have like a system to age the wine like they did in The Sims 3. And then they've also got like uh, the upper cabinets up here. Yeah, I'm really, a, I'm a big fan of this kitchen stuff. All right, yeah, here they go through a bunch of customization. So we'll go through it real quick. Okay, yeah, so from what I saw from that, it looks like there's a, a few different ones for the hooves. Of course, the saddle and the saddle blanket or whatever the fuck it's called. I can't remember. I don't think it's a bedroll though. Isn't that thing on the back a bedroll? <laughs> Who the fuck cares? Anyway, um, yeah, the different manes you can have. Like this one's got a little tiny braid in there. Uh, there's ones where it's all braided. You can braid the tail. There was something where you had like a ribbon around to the top of the tail. Didn't see any unicorn horns. Is that a water tower in the back? I think it is. Okay, I wonder if that'll be an item you can place or if you'll have to use like light edit objects to be able to get that. I'm also quite a fan of the horse model. I think it fits in with the Sims 4 like look. I think the front legs look a little bit fucked up in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe they're fine and they just look weird to me but I don't know. That I just feel like there's something off with them when they walk. Now this is cool. Holy shit. I don't know how realistic that formation is <laughs> but it sure does look cool. <laughs> oh I wonder if this guy is the ranch hand that you can hire apparently for your ranch. Oh this is cool. What the hell is this? This is what I was talking about with the ribbon thing on the tail. I don't think that's a ribbon. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> Look at these Minecraft hay bales. <laughs> One thing I'm hoping for, but I don't expect it at all, is with the saddle customization, is that you can customize different parts of the saddle. Like, instead of it just being one preset, I'm hoping there's, like, different, like, stirrups that you can choose, and different, like, uh, saddle horns. I just did this, and it looks so fucking stupid. <laughs> God, what is wrong with me tonight? <laughs> oh, we got a ghost back here. Is that lore? God, I really hope there's some lore with this. There's a serious lack of lore in The Sims 4, and it annoys the fuck out of me. Look at the horse just watching him play. God damn, look at his face. <laughs> Alright, now this part is very interesting because this guy gives the ghost some sort of wine drink. And watch this. She turns human again. Are ghosts considered human? 
Like if they're human ghosts, are they still human? I don't know, who the fuck cares? So I'm assuming that's something to do with the drink. Could be something to do with the horses, but I doubt it. Also, this is what I mean with the front legs. Are they just, is it just me or do they look a little fucked up? But yeah, I think this pack looks pretty nice. I don't know if it's 50 bucks nice. <laughs> it's some amount of money nice. For all we know, this cinematic trailer, I mean, it could look, make it look amazing, but then the actual pack is dog shit. That's literally my opinion on the high school years pack. The trailer looked awesome for it. The actual gameplay was fucking ass. <laughs> like, I'm already imagining these horses being bugged out as fuck. <laughs> like, walking backwards and shit and just teleporting into, like, random rooms in your house. <laughs> I'm also wondering if horses are going to be limited to worlds. I doubt it. I mean, it'd be pretty weird to have, like, a horse in San Myshuno. <laughs> Not really sure where you'd put it. I mean, you can't really have it in your apartment. That would make no sense. <laughs> So maybe there'll be limited worlds where you can have horses? I don't know. All right, and that's, so that's pretty much it. I'm very much excited for this pack now, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm also probably gonna be heavily disappointed. That's like me with every pack. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it. You guys have been great with that. If you like this video, you like my other recent video. I played with the Extreme Violence mod again, and oh my god, I fucking love that mod. I can't stop playing it. <laughs> so go and check that out if you're interested. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. Thank you guys so much. I'll see every single one of you in the next one. Take care.